for most of the related array problem, you want to draw a picture. For example, something like this, you might want to draw a picture and have an idea what is given and what is unknown. So suppose a girl flies a kite at a height of 300 feet. The wind carrying the kite horizontally away from her at a rate of 25 feet per second. Now that's already a lot of information for you to be able to create a picture and see what we're looking for. We want to know how fast she must let out the string. So how fast, that's a rate, when the kite is 500 feet away from her. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a picture. Let's suppose, uh, here's the kite, something like that. So it's 300 feet above the ground. So that's 300 feet here. And then let's suppose she's standing right here. Um, let's suppose that's the person. And she's flying this kite. So you can see that D, let's, let's label some components. Let's call this the uh, X direction. So this is the horizontal direction. The, flat, the kite is flying away from her. So this rate, dx dt, is going to be 25 feet per second. So you see this is the horizontally away from her. That's this component right here. And I'm letting x to represent the distance from her and to the height of the kite. And we want to know how fast must she let go of the string. So if this is the string, um, let's call it as S for string. How fast, so that means we're looking for DS, DT, when the kite is 500 feet away from her. So S happens to be 500 feet. So we're given this component right here. And we're given this one right here. So you can you see there is a triangle here. And suppose this is a right triangle more specifically. We can find what is the x distance. So we can find x and then we can find ds dt. So the way we're going to find x is by simply using Pythagorean's theorem. So you can imagine there is a triangle here. Let's redraw the picture. So, so you can see why it's okay to use Pythagorean's theorem. I know this is 300 and I know this is 500. So I'm looking for it, this right here. So let's use Pythagorean's theorem. We know x squared plus, let's call it y squared, which is this component right here, is equal to s squared, which is the hypotenuse. So x is what we're looking for. So x squared plus y squared, that's 300 squared is equal to s squared, that's 500 squared. And then solve for x, so you have x squared is equal to uh, 500 squared minus 300 squared, and x is equal to positive square root of that. So 500 squared, well that's 500 times 500, which is 2,500,000, ,000. and 300 squared, that's 300 times 300, that's minus 90,000. So if you do 250,000 minus 90,000, you will get about 16,160,000. Um, so x is equal to the square root of 160,000. So x is equal to 400. So that's what x is. So I'm going to go ahead and fill this in right here in the blue triangle. So this distance is 400. Well, now we can go back. So we're given these particular information. We're looking for ds dt. That's this distance right here, the rate of this, how that's changing. And we're given dx dt. We're not given dy dt. So dy dt, this is not given. So that means when you try to differentiate this function respect to time, you would need dy dt. So to avoid that, we're gonna do the following. So we're taking this formula, Pythagorean's theorem again, and we're going to replace y as 300. So simply replace that so that when you differentiate, it will disappear. 
And the reason we need to do that is because one, it's, it's dy dt is not given. So when you differentiate respect to time, dy dt is going to pop up and we don't want to be stuck in the problem. So we have enough information to find ds dt. So let's go ahead and differentiate this respect to time. So we have derivative of x squared, that's 2x dx dt. Derivative of 300, that's 0, is equal to s squared, that's 2s ds dt. And this is what we're looking for. So we can simply isolate. Divide both sides by 2s. So the 2 cancels out. You have x times dx dt all over s. That's the rate for ds dt. Now simply plug in the numbers. We know x is 400, and the rate for x is dx dt, that's 25. And we know s is how far the, the, the string, so that's 500 on the bottom right here. Uh, sorry. Yeah. And this is equal to ds dt. Now simplify this, so you will have and this will equal 20 feet per second. So that's ds dt, which is the um, rate, how fast she let out the string when the kite is 500 feet away from her.